Hi guys, it's me Roberta and I'm here to give you my Invisalign update so far. Right now I'm getting ready to change into tray 4 which I will show you here. And I've just had some experiences along the way that have helped me navigate this Invisalign journey a little bit easier. It does get easier changing your trays. Do listen to your orthodontists when they say take it out, start with your molars to pull down and then slowly work your way to the front. I have noticed that if I, once I get to the front, if I pull kind of down and away a little bit out, it doesn't feel like I'm ripping my teeth out or I'm going to pull my attachments off. I did lose five attachments and on Monday I had to go get them put back on. But I don't think that was for me changing my trays. I think it's because I have a lot of crowns and those attachments have a hard time sticking to the crowns. So that's where I'm at with that. And I actually have lost two more since then. But they said, you know, if your teeth are tracking, don't worry about it. Just come in at your eight week appointment. And so I'm just going to watch it and to see where we're, how I do. And your bite stick, your chewies, these are really, really helpful if you are struggling with pain a little bit, especially when you change your trays, because they help seat your tray. They push it onto the tooth. And for some reason, for me at least, it helps just with the pain. And I, I don't know if it's maybe just a focus thing. I'm not focused so much on the pain and not doing anything about it. And it just, I'm biting on it and I'm not thinking and eventually my tray is seated really well and I'm not even having any pain or uncomfortability. So that's where I'm at with that. And food, bread sucks. It latches around your attachments and it's a real pain in the ass to um, get out. I spend a good five minutes flossing, especially if I've had like a bread and I love bread. So it's a little frustrating, but do make sure you clean your teeth really well after every single meal. They had told me I could eat with my trays in at least one meal, but I haven't done that because I'm going to have to take my trays out and clean it anyway. And so I just kind of reducing a step, it feels like, and reducing a mess. But do floss your teeth and brush your teeth after every single meal. I, you need to do that because that shit will get around your teeth and it's, it's just a pain in the ass. I spent a good five minutes at least flossing. And then I'll, I'll mouthwash, I'll brush my teeth, and sometimes I'll mouthwash again just to double check that I've gotten all the pieces out. Because you'll notice it if you put your trays in, you can just feel something in your teeth and it's really uncomfortable. And ugh, I don't know if anybody, what they think about that, but I just think it's gross even to food in my teeth. So that's kind of what I've learned so far. And it's... It's getting easier. It's got, I've gotten into a routine of how I always clean my teeth. I have gotten more comfortable with drinking more than just water with my trays in. I still stick with clear liquids or I do, as soon as I'm done drinking something, I'll go hurry and take them out for just a second, you know, swish my teeth, maybe run a quick toothbrush over them and then put them back in. Um, but they told me I could leave my, my trays in. So I'm just experimenting. I'm still not going to do food, but I will drink other things. Just as long as I can at least rinse my trays in my mouth after. That's kind of where I'm at with my thinking. So we'll see. So let's get started with my tray change. I did take my teeth, my other trays out already because I wanted to eat. And I just was skipping a little bit of a step here and recording. I didn't think it was necessary. So there's my little box that I have everything in and we got tray four of 69 and I don't know again if that's going to be as all the trays I'm going to get or not but let's see and I've already got some bands ready to go because I have to change my bands every day and that gets easier too. At first I was really struggling with my bands and now I've gotten used to it. Just as long as my top part, like, cause on my trays, that's where my bands hook into on the top. If they're flared out enough, I can get the band on there without having to put the on first before I put the tray in. Um, so I'm just, I'm, I'm getting used to it and people are right, you do get used to it. So let's see where we're at here. Okay. 
I'm going to go rinse these off real quick. Okay, excuse my chair. It's a noisy, really old vanity chair. So, here is my bottom ones. I don't know if you can see it. Not really. There's really nothing to see, so I'm not going to show you up close. But... Ooh, those ones are tight. Quite, quite tight. Okay, let's see. All right, so that, that one kind of looks like it's a little flared in. So I'm going to kind of push on it a little bit. Just for this one, I'm going to put the bands on before I pop them in really lightly because it almost looks like it... Actually, let's see. I'm going to just kind of try it and see. So, like I had said, I have hooks and I don't know if you can kind of see it there. So, that's where my top band goes in and like hooks onto. If they're too flared in, it's a real pain in the ass to get your bands on. And so... Sometimes I'll put my band on before I put my tray, my top tray in because it, I'll spend forever trying to get my rubber bands in and I just don't want to spend forever trying to get a band around a hook, you know. So I'm just going to go ahead and put them on like that, just to lightly pop it in just so I don't have to try and get it around that hook. That hook, excuse me, I had a hiccup. And getting around my bottom hook is fine. I, I don't have a problem there. It's just these top ones sometimes. Ooh, boy. Those ones are tight. Okay, so you saw me really struggle with my bands there because sometimes if I put the band on before I put the tray in, the band will get sucked down into the tray and I, I don't think that's the right way and I don't want to mess up my teeth. So I try to keep them just barely over the hook and then end up coming off the hook. So I had to keep messing with it to try to get the hook, the band back over the hook. That's probably my biggest struggle, is the bands over the hooks, if they're not flared out enough. But, as time goes on, as you have the tray in for the week, or however long you have it in there, it gets easier. So, I thought I'd let you guys see all that, and I hope it was helpful. Please stay safe and healthy out there, stay home, and make sure you're taking care of yourselves. And, here in a couple weeks, I'll probably go ahead and give you another update on how I'm dealing with these so far. And I might also show you a little bit of what's in my kit. I have a kit for when I'm going out places. And if I need to mess with my trays or have backups or something happens, I want to, excuse me, I want to be prepared. So I do have a little thing and I will go ahead and show you guys that. And I guess I will go ahead and end the video here. I'm gonna spend a little while chewing on my stick. And I think I'm gonna go for a walk today, so. I just need to get out the doors and it's finally warm enough to actually go do something. Alright guys, I hope you have a good day. I'll see you later. Bye.